What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Swindler's Den, the Lost Mine of Fandelver. Uh, what's up everybody? You guys excited? Yeah! Woo! Get yeah. excited! Okay, we're gonna do a quick recap of last session, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead, go head over to the YouTube channel, Swindler's Den, and catch up on it, and also check out Amoris while you're there. Anyways, so, previously on the Lost Mine of Fandelver... Our party here, consisting of Jeb, the Gnome Druid, Zorag, the half orc Barbarian, Valiada, the half Goliath Paladin, yeah. Jack Sparrow, the Human Fighter. I nailed it, dude. <laughs> they were heading south along the high road to... This music does not work for this. <laughs> they were heading <laughs> south along to toward uh, Phandalin. They veered off onto the Tribor Trail. Upon turning onto the Highbor Trail, they came across two dead horses belonging to Sildar, Hallwinter, and Dundrin Rockseeker, the um, party that hired them to bring a wagon load of provisions to the town of Phandalin. On the, as they approached the horses um, on the road, they realized that they were in the middle of a goblin ambush. Of course, they got attacked by the goblins, but quickly the goblins were destroyed by Zorag pretty much single-handedly. A little bit of fire but from Jeb, but uh, mostly Zorag. Uh, <laughs> from there, they met a goblin named Rumshu, who gave them directions to a cave where Gundren and Sildar were dragged off to. The party entered the cave, came across some wolves, and... Uh, had to kill one of the wolves, but the other two were uh, pacified, restrained. <laughs> restrained, dealt with in another fashion, and uh, that's where we find the party now. So, as you guys sit here in this uh, small little room, what do you guys want to do? Remember, there's rubble on the ground. It looks like trash uh, is kind of thrown down here, maybe like bones from feeding the... The wolves, some loose rocks, maybe some, like, tattered clothing scattered about here and there in this room. Um, yeah. Do you guys want to keep investigating the room? Do you want to head back toward the river? Did anyone get bitten by the wolves? Well, I will check herself over. No. My, my armor held, and I was able to hold it back. I would like to uh, look over Zorag and his limited amount of clothing and see if there are any bite marks on him. <laughs> Go for it. Um, okay, and while I check the back while he's doing guess, that. Just, you know, there doesn't need to be some sort of check for that, but just, like, Tommy tell Equoy. I honestly can't hurt. remember if I got bit by one of the wolves, but I am badly you are hurt from the... Uh, from the skirmishes before. Right. I will see this and I will hide behind Valida and I will whisper to her. Oh my god, he's a werewolf hide. I don't think these were werewolves. I think they were just guard dogs. I would like to make a stealth check to try and hide from Zorak. <laughs> Go for it, I guess. That's a 16. Okay. Can I do a perception check on that? Well, what's your passive perception? Oh, per oh, he beat that. Okay, you can <laughs> if you if you want to look for him, look for him. That's fine too. I just if he yeah, no, I don't, it, I don't, no I'm not really my character. It's himself isn't really paying any attention to Jeb. Anyways. Paying any attention. I just didn't <laughs> know if maybe out of the corner of my eye I see him like oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm gone. That's it. Yeah. So like Chill. Zorag's knelt down, like just petting this wolf that he killed, and he's so sad. They're one of and a kind now. I'm just I'm gonna, gonna go, up. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, I was, I was just like, gonna I was gonna, gonna go turn to, to you. Zorag. I was gonna go up to Zorag and kind of very tentatively pat him on the shoulder and go, "There, there. At least it's no longer suffering because those chains look nice." While I'm holding uh, the torch in one hand and the whip just kind of still at the side in one hand in case the other two wolves decide to act up again. 
Yeah, and one of the wolves is still cowering in the... Well, not cowering, it's more... It's laid down now. It's keeping an eye on you, but it's not acting aggressively toward you. The other one's still knocked out. It's breathing, but it's, you know, knocked out. Uh, Valido will move back to the back of the cave to see what... If this is an opening of some sort, or just like a... Yeah. into the wall. Yeah, so, um... As you look around the room, yeah, you see, like I said, there's a lot of trash down here. There's, like, bones and rattered, uh, trashed clothing and chew toys. Uh, but as you look up at the very back of the cave, like, shoot. It's, like, described as a chimney, but it's, um, yeah, it's like a, it's an opening that you're pretty sure you could fit through. It looks like it probably goes, like, 20, 30 feet up if you, if you chose to. <laughs> okay. I squeeze, would, or, or the other people would. <laughs> it would be quite the squeeze for Valiada and Zorag. Okay. Well, if it comes down to it, then we have an extra exit. Uh, I Zorag, will, how are you uh, feeling? Other Jebel set something on fire in there. No comment. <laughs> Zorag, how are you feeling? I'm quite wounded, but I'll manage. Well, let me know if I can help. The I can call the spirits to get some some healing for you if you need. That would be most beneficial given our circumstances. Now, when you say spirits, the... no, no, never mind. Never mind. You're not thinking the same spirits as me. No, I don't have to call for those. So we can get those at any tavern. Wonderful. Uh, I would like to try and climb on top of Valida real quick. She won't stop you, but just watch the armor. I worked uh, hard on it. Don't scuff that, it up. I'm going to try and uh, look out of the hole in the in the wall, see if I can see anything through there. Okay. Um, I'll tell so... her to lift me up to give me a better vantage point. How about that? Okay. She'll do that. So Valida lifts you up little bit into the hole and it's fairly dark there's not much going on in here it goes vertically up however you can see like the faint like a faint orange glow at the top do i know what that is yeah you you would know that that is tell telltale sign of fire <gasps> oh, we need to go there right now and i will try and start climbing up the thing <laughs> she'll she'll call them there <laughs> yeah <laughs> What do you see up there? Uh, treasure. Lots of treasure. Gold. Lots of gold. We should go. Can I do a perception check on that? Uh, to look up there? Uh, for the perception... Or no, insight would be what I'm looking for. See if he's lying. Oh, are lying. you trying to see if he's <laughs> lying? Yeah. Uh, if you're trying to lie, roll deception versus an insight. Sure. PvP. Nine. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> just barely yeah he's pretty sure he's lying like you're not super confident but you yeah Probably she'll lying. put him back down on the ground that we don't need to go that way we're not here for treasure we're here for for a uh, rock seeker it's all right it's all right we'll find another way around and i'll start walking back towards the uh the entrance of the cabin watch the werewolf and uh, uh, on your way out of the room, you come across a uh, left shoe. <gasps> it's Ramshu's uh, other shoe. Uh, it's all torn up, wet, sticky. Yeah. Uh. Wolves have probably been chewing it. Did they eat rum shoe? Look, well, seeing we saw him without this shoe on, I'd assume not. Maybe they just like attacked him and then he got away or something. Hopefully, I'm gonna give it a sniff. What's it smell like? <laughs> this shoe just smells like wet dog. All right, it's probably not him then. Doesn't smell like rum. 
Well, shall we continue searching? Ah, oh, right. hey. So, uh, Jack, it is... Uh, if you go further into the cave, it is going to start getting dark for you. And Volido. I think I have a torch. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the torch can only provide so much. Should I lead? Probably for the best, yes. Be my guest. So you are As I'm uh, walking. Jack Pardon? had a torch last time. Yeah, that's yes, right. She lit it right at the torch. end. Mm -hmm. But I forgot torch to. In one hand, in the other. I forgot to okay. mention that in the recap, so I just figured we'd just do it again. <laughs> well, knew. we. I, I relight my torch because apparently it was damp. Yeah, for some reason it went out, but it's good now, yeah. Okay. Last it Uh, I want to turn to Volanda. Uh, Valida. 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 Uh, as I'm walking past her, like, kind of in the stream here. And, uh, I, I want to look and say, uh, is there any way you could use those spirits? You need healing, you're saying. I'll just nod. But I, I'm kind of doing it kind of hush hush because I don't want the <laughs> other people hearing me. <laughs> so put her hand on his shoulder and say, be with him, spirits. And uh, how many, how much healing you need? Mm. I don't know how to actually say that in the game. Man, I guess we'll leave this up to the group. Do you guys want to be the kind of group that you RP your injuries or do you want to just flat out be like, I have 5 out of 10 something. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'd rather just say it so I'm not burning random points for no reason. Alright, uh, so, yeah, just, just breaking uh, the RP here. 7 out of 14. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give you the full 5 and just be kind of like, and make sure he's, uh, nothing is with him. That shouldn't be tried to allude to the werewolf that, that uh, Jeb is worried about. Well, I look at it and be like, right, yeah. I, I can do that too, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You can remove uh, curses and illnesses? No, no, no. But I can, uh, you know, magic fingers and stuff, you know, make you feel better. I don't like the way that sounds. Magic fingers. I just kind of look at him when he says out, and I see like his fingers twinkling over there, magic fingers, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> just no. Well, all right, that's quite rude, but that's fine. Now, so... when you say magic fingers, do you mean like you'll set them on fire, or do you mean like uh, have like a warm massage since you apparently really like? Which would you prefer? Um, either. Okay. Well, but just thanks. for me then. You do you, mate. Alright. Just you do you, mate. Fine. Okay. So, so when he says he's gonna give me the five, I just gotta add that into yeah. my Yep, it's your okay. five. <clears throat> okay, and uh you guys are walking further into the cave, I assume then, following the river. Yes. yes. Yep. So in the so... main passage from the cave mouth climbs it climbs steeply upward. So this is all inside of here is steeply up, which makes sense because there's a river flowing down it and out. Mm -hmm. Stream plunging and splashing down its west side. In the shadows, a side passage leads west across the other side of the sh So if you cross the stream, you'll just make out uh, another entryway. All right, I'm gonna start moving up here. Start uh, walking up so I get an idea of what's ahead of us. <clears throat> Uncover that. All right, perfect. I'm gonna like motion for uh, Volley to come up behind me. Sure, follow right there. Which way should we go? And I point to the left, and I'm like, "There's a passage over the river." And then I point to my right and signify that there's this path continues forward. Did you say the one on the right opened up to like an entrance? Uh, no, that was across the river to the left. It's like another 
uh, shaft, I guess is the right okay, word. So it goes like, outside. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not go outside. No. Okay. Can I listen to see if I hear anything from either side? Uh, sure. Roll me a perception check. Seven. Nah, the river is really loud. You you actually can notice that, like, the river kind of covers up most of the sounds you guys make as a as a party moving through here. It echoes off the walls quite a bit, and it's just a lot of gushing water sounds. Let's take the right path first. Try to avoid getting my armor wet as much as possible. I'm going to give a nod and start uh, slowly making my way up here on the right side. Okay. As you do, uh, move further up with the torch in hand. Uh, you see a goblin shoot across the bridge right in front of you. In the shadows of the ceiling to the north, you just make out the dim ship shape of a rickety bridge of wood and rope crossing over the passage ahead of you. Another passage intersects this one 20 feet above the floor. So, yeah, you make out a, um, a wooden bridge as a goblin quickly darts from the left to the right side. From the left to the right? So, like... Yeah. All right. <clears throat> goes over... Uh... Wait. All right, and I don't have any time to react to that. You can try. Yeah, I'm going to try and react to it. Go ahead. Uh, I you just want to do? throw, a, like, I'm, as I see it, I'm just throwing my javelin at it. Right. Anybody else reacting? I, can't oh, I don't think I see it yet. No. I can't see it yet. All right, so... I got a 18. <clears throat> this is still not appeared on my thing. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So roll the damage, because that's a hit. That is a six. If I'm not mistaken, he should still be up. So, yeah, he's he's still up. Uh, you, you hit him, and he, uh, he lets out a big scream, but uh, still stumbles across the other side of the bridge. Just barely. All right. I'm going to turn to uh, Volley to... Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, <clears throat> a goblin ran across the bridge to the right. We must make haste. I I heard, and I'm assuming the rest of them might have as well. We need to be on our guard even more so. They know we're uh, here. Did the javelin stay with the goblin, or did it just kind of pierce through if they keep going? We'll say for the sake of, sake of this, it, uh, it scraped across his back very deep, but it... It kept going. All right. So I'm going to start moving up here. Take cross underneath this bridge. Okay. Um, oh, just going to close her fist so that her shield comes out of her gauntlet. <laughs> As you guys approach, you hear a large rumbling noise. The ground begins to shake beneath you. As you hear oh, the rushing of water coming at you, what do you do? Holy fuck. Um, to the cave to the right or to the left. Yes, duck into the side cave. Okay, everybody who's running, make a dexterity saving throw. As this water, you can now see the water filling the tunnel coming your way. Nine. Twelve. Do you remember where these saving throws are? Uh, I think I've got the window though. There it is. Saving throws, bam. Watch it be bad. I got an 11, or 13, that was Jack. Yeah, okay. I got Very 11. Balanced. Anybody who made below a 12, you don't make it across. Heck. Uh, oh, bother. The, the waves wash, so it's Jeb and Zorag just make it uh, across to the other side of where that opening was to the left. That's where you said you were going, right? Yeah. Yes. This is where I go a different way. Okay. Do you guys... No, like, I, I messed up and said right, but... Yeah, so you, like, 
Jeb like well, has to swim around. It would have been on his right. Hmm. Zorag, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> Jeb has to swim across that river really fast and climb up. Zorag just kind of jumps it. Uh, I don't know what happens to Jack in Valida, but they do not make it as this giant gush of water comes down, swallows them up, and pushes them out of the uh, the cave. Back, uh, spinning you up, back down outside. As you can see, down here somewhere. As you take... Oh, bloody hell. You guys each take six damage. Up oh, my god, just... <laughs> you smack into rocks and uh, trees as you get outside and things like that. Ooh, I am barely hanging on. I am down. And my torch is gone. <laughs> True. Torch has gone out. Uh, Jeb, Zorag, uh, you see them get swept away. What do you two do? I'll start doggy paddling back down the stream after them. <laughs> Making sure they're okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm like rushing back to the entrance of the cave mouth. <clears throat> when you get what out, happened? Oh, right. uh, the water. That hurt. There's rocks and everything. Uh, is, is that last okay? I'm just battered and bruised and just kind of laying on the river's edge going ow I will uh, notice Valiada is unconscious and I will run over and I will cast Cure Wounds at first level yeah yeah Valiada's um, just laying there beaten bruised doesn't even seem to be breathing very or does is breathing very lightly faintly as you lay your hands on her and heal her up, uh, the vine Five light comes out. Healing. And Valida coughs up water. <laughs> My armor is soaked. Magic fingers. And I'll start walking. You didn't back. put those things on me, did you? Yes, I did. <sighs> well, you well, were unconscious there last. Yes, I suppose I'll be grateful for that. She'll stand up, just dripping water out of all of her armor. <laughs> oh, this is gonna rust. Oh, that hurt. Uh. Maybe it's better if we were to take a quick nap or something right here instead of going back in as we are. I can't deny that. That's not so okay to me. Oh, boy. Frickin' Typhoon. Or it would be helpful. Well, I'll take a look at perception check to see if the javelin can fall out of the mouth of the cave. Whenever the little wave came forward. Uh, I'm losing you. Zorag is dead. Yeah. He's very much a robot. Okay, it's just him? Okay, I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here now. Still a robot. He's a warforged. I heard him say that he was coming out of the mouth of the cave. So, we know that. I think we're taking a short rest. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, for some reason my voice, like, went into the red for some reason. Okay. Don't know why, I've got a uh, fiber. It'll get you. Very strange. So what Google you... will get you every time. You were looking for your spear, you said your javelin? Yeah, I wanted to see if my javelin like uh, came out of the mouth of the cave when the uh, wave came out. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll me a perception check to look for it. Give me an ash horn. Come on. I got a 19. Okay. <laughs> You don't see it now. I'm pretty sure it got oh. swept really uh, far down. I'm very saddened by this. Yeah, that water was fast moving and there was a lot of it. It most likely is further down. Tell me about it. All right, I'm just going to lean up against this rock here. 
though, are you guys taking a short rest or something? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So short rest. As we do, I will hour. create a small bonfire around us, just for comfort. You know, and lie down next to it. Okay. <laughs> a small well, yeah, bonfire around us. Just you are, know, are in you the middle. Sure. <laughs> oh, in the middle. Okay. In the middle. For now. Okay. Well, they'll take pieces of her armor off to dry out and pull the bear skull off her gauntlet and kind of tinker in her gauntlet. Swearing uh, in dwarvish as she does. Jack is just okay, going to take so I... to make sure she hasn't lost anything. See, oh, my hit dice. Oh, a tin. Not that it matters. Where's hit dice? Right below your health. Grizz, remind me what the rule is for regaining spells on short rest. Um, is it a feat that you it, gotta take? It's yeah. only certain. You, I don't Once. know if you have it or not. Um, yeah, generally, it's long rest to get spells back. Yeah, it. I think certain classes do. Uh, and maybe certain feats. But That's fine. If not, I was just wondering. Efficiency. I'm just. I'm How just does uh, I've never played a druid before. <clears throat> How does short rest healing work? So on a so short so... rest, you can uh, roll one of your hit die. So everybody has one hit die because you're level one. Uh, if you look on your character sheet, there's the current hit points, temporary hit points, and then under that, on the left, is hit die. Yeah. Or hit dice. I rolled mine. I got an eleven. So that's how much you recover. Oh, okay, that's cool. Mathematics. And then um, after each long rest, I believe you get half your hit die back, or half of what's missing back, something like that. I thought it was one, but I could be wrong. You get one hit die back. It might be one. I think. Well, I'll double check that after this game. But I don't think it'll right, matter since, too much at the moment. Since we used our hit die, we just uh, subtract that now? Uh, yeah. yeah. You just take how many away they used. Alright, Now you zero have zero hit, hit die. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so. Let's not um, do that again. I think I have to do a... Long rest on this. You guys good with playing through our break? Since it's yeah, a that's fine. session. Okay. <clears throat> so is everybody all set on I said cool, 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 cool. break related things? Mm hmm Yeah. Start strapping the armor back on and put the bear skull back in the gauntlet. Okay. Takes a swing up from a bottle and puts it away. So uh as you guys pick your stuff back up, the head I assume back into the cave. I'm not sure if that's your plan or not, but yeah. uh, you look all good. It didn't seem like anything came out of the cave while you were uh, waiting or resting. I uh, offer Zorag if he wants help looking further upstream for his javelin. I just look really distraught by this javelin. I just kind of nod at her and I start like making right. my way kind of down. <laughs> all right mate no worries we'll look we'll find it just wading through this water here is looking along the edges yeah, as you continue to look you actually see, you actually see uh out of the corner of your eye big black wolf runs past you two into the into the woods <laughs> <laughs> It seems, it seems the the wolf that you two knocked out or that you knocked out earlier has woken up and ran away because it wasn't chained anymore. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Just looks at the other wolf still chained up. Like, sorry, bro. Yeah. Jack just pulls out the whip and just holds it at the ready, just in case. Moving. Be gone. Okay. Um. I mean, yeah, if you're, you want to look for this beer again? <laughs> I really want to try and yes. find this thing. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Roll me one more perception check with advantage, because 
have Jack's help. All right, Nat one, give it to me. Oh, I got a 17. Now that you've moved further downstream, find it. Uh, it's snapped into. I'm still picking no. up the remains and putting them <laughs> in my bag. Okay. <clears throat> While this is happening, sorry, you can go ahead. Uh, now you have two weapons there instead of just one big one. A pointy stick and another stick. Both pointy. I'm gonna turn to Jack and be like, should we go back to the group? Sounds good to me, mate. And as we're walking, I kind of like look over across my shoulder or over my shoulder and I just say, thanks. And then I just start walking back again. <clears throat> just... It's good to see somebody respects their weapons here. They mean a great deal to me. They are important. They can save your life. I'll just yeah, nod. I don't have my weapons. Uh, I'm going to reach into my bag, and I'm actually going to pull out a torch, and I want to light it and hand it to Jack. Oh. Okay, easy enough. I accept the torch. Uh, thank you, Valida. That wasn't Valida, that was Ore. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, this this Sorry. gray arm, and it's like, thanks, Valida. <laughs> Just this hairy right. gray arm. And it's like... All right, magic fingers rewind. All right, ah, thank you, Zorog. I'll just nod and I turn to Vl oh, Vladia. I'm like, sorry, I feel like that was my fault. No, you called it out. I just wasn't fast enough. I should have tried to stand and withhold it. Probably would have been worked out better. All right, so. <clears throat> what I want to do here is uh, I want to start walking back up into the cave here. Mm -hmm. And as I get closer to this entrance to the caves with the uh, wolves. Well, no, no, that's, that's pointless. I'm going to do that. I was thinking about tying myself off to a, a rock. Uh, I'm just going to turn to the group and ask them if they're ready to continue. <clears throat> lost you spot. know what? Here's the thing, though, right? So... I don't think we should go that way. The way we attempted to, or the, or the way that you guys hid in. Either. What I think we should do is head to the right and climb up the little passage there, because no water came through. See? So they can't do that again. The fireman has a point. I do. I do have a point. It also didn't come the way you guys hid. That's why you are able to hide there. Well, yeah, but this way's closer. I'm going to turn to a <laughs> uh, volley to, and ask, like, is there a reason that he wants to go there? I don't know for sure. I know there's not treasure up there. That's not true. They could be. I turned. That's to when Jeb I'm gonna look. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I turned to Jeb and asked, "Did you see any fire?" No, no, no. I don't know why you would say that. Well, I want to see if he's lying. Or <laughs> go ahead and insight. I will guidance myself for this one. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Oh, shit. Wait, no, I got a d4. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 11. Yeah, he's he's hard to read. He's squirrely. <laughs> I mean, if you go up there first. I will. Someone lift me up. I'll just grab him and, like, <laughs> set him down, like, right here. So you've, both, you've all moved into the, the wolf den again, correct? Yeah, that's where we're heading. Yes, that's where okay. we're heading. Cool. Oh, I um, can go through walls. While you're in the wolf den, you hear a rumble again, or you feel a rumbling in your feet as 
another giant surge of water through the uh, cave entrance that you guys were just in a moment before. You know, some of the water gets into your room, covers your feet, but it's not enough to sweep you away or anything like that. So it goes up to, like, Jeb's knees. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Did anybody pick up a shoe earlier? No, shoe's probably gone. Shoe gets no. dragged out of the it's room, gone. down the river. It will, hopefully it finds its uh, owner. Rightful owner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's Whoa. why the dog ran after it, you know, like. Wait a minute, was it a right shoe or a left shoe? It was a left shoe. Right. What if, what if Rumshoe is a werewolf now? How do you come to that conclusion? Because, Valida, they were attacking him, and they tore off his shoe when he ran, but what if what if it, the teeth got through? He's a werewolf now. She's just going to shake her head and pick him up and put him up into the, into the tunnel. Come on, Sticky. So yeah, this this uh, natural chimney climbs about thirty f- upward. Uh, go ahead and make me a athletics deck if you're attempting to. Cl- Are oh, you doing shit. anything beforehand, or are you just straight up climbing it? Oh God, myself. Okay. Can I stop him before he attempts to climb that? Sure. I want to try. I want to stop him and tie a rope around him, and then hold the rope, the other end of the rope. Okay. Why? <clears throat> Why are you doing this to me? You yank if you up. scream, I'll yank you back. Oh. I wasn't sure where you were okay. going with that either. <laughs> sure. He's my. He's my new pet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me burn you. I will do it. He will do it. So what uh, am I doing? Is the other wolf still in here? Yes. And it's uh it it remembers you. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's it's growling a little it's you know, it's not coming at you, but it's you know doesn't like you. I just bring out the whip, I just hold the whip and it go shh. Hush. Okay. So anybody nope. attempting to climb uh, or well, if you're just, just sending Jeb, Jeb up first, then yeah. uh, Jeb, roll me athletics. Athletics with a d4. I need it. Roll a zero. That's a three. Yeah, <laughs> That's a three for my athletics with the three for God. Oh, that is oh, interesting. Boy. <laughs> I mean, even the advantage roll was a four. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm not very good at that. <clears throat> Okay, so fall and take one damage. Shit! <laughs> Do you want me to I'm throw you? I'm just holding you? this rope and looking up at him, and he falls, and I just kind of yank right. my head down. I'm gonna square myself up. So I'll say. to throw you this time. Throw me. <laughs> Wally double take and throw him up the chimney. Okay, so instead, <laughs> what we're gonna do is Wally is gonna roll the athletics check. Um, <laughs> Jeb, you're gonna roll a dex save. Oh, Don't no. miss, because I'll hit my head. Uh, I can't promise or anything. a uh, acrobatics check. Either one. <laughs> well, They're both the same. She'll just she'll look at him and say, good luck, and then chuck him. 12. <laughs> Shit! Shit! It's a 12! Okay, so... Uh, Valida throws Jeb up about um, 20 feet as Jeb... Latches on to some rocks. Uh, he's got another 10 feet to climb, but he's he's most of the way up. She just has her hands out waiting for him to fall again. <laughs> I'll I'll keep going. Sure. Okay. It's athletics. Guidance. Okay, yeah, you climb to the top. Are you just lifting yourself in? Are you peeking first? I'll I'll give a little bit of a peek, but I can't hold it for very long, so I'll climb in eventually. Okay. So, 
as you uh, peek in, you, as you get closer to the top, as you're climbing, the flickering gets a little brighter. You get definitely <sighs> campfire. Uh, as you yeah. peek over the edge, the sacks of crates uh, of looted provisions are piled up on the south end of the large cave. To the west, the floor slopes upward, a narrow opening that descends into darkness. A larger opening leads north down a set of natural stone steps. The roar of falling water echoes from beyond. In the middle of the cavern, the coals of a large fire. As well as a goblin like five feet from you that hasn't seen you just yet. Um, and behind the boxes, you can make out there is a larger being as well. They look like they're ready. They've got their weapons kind of at their sides. You hear you hear a number of rumblings like. Okay. The, the language of the goblins. I <laughs> will turn around, and I will beckon to Zorag, and I will go. And then I'll wait two seconds and grab his legs. And hope what, what was the motion he did? Because I didn't have the uh, cameras on. Uh, pull. He was like motion yeah, to the pull. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so Jeb, you're grabbing the goblin's feet. I'm grabbing his feet and I'm waiting to be pulled. You mad man. Um... <laughs> Roll me a... We're gonna do a grapple check for this. Uh, roll me athletics. Fuck. Shit. Six. Let me... I'll roll a dex. I'll roll a dex and see. How about that? He's a goblin. He'll, he'll make it. It's a six. <laughs> okay. Jeb... Grabs onto this thing's feet. It's like, ah. and uh, Zorag, are you pulling the the rope? Oh, I'm yanking this rope. Zorag yanks the rope, and both Jeb and <laughs> this goblin come crashing to the bottom of. I made it. The chimney. Uh, and both take damage, I guess, unless uh -oh. anything else is happening. Uh -oh. I'll Can Jack try to catch him? Yes. Well, Valida had her arms out. Ready yeah, Valida was waiting for him to fall. Oh, yeah, she had her arms out to catch him. Valida, yeah, okay, so Valida. Athletics with advantage, <clears throat> trying to help. That's a nat 20. Okay, cool. So, you're going to break his fall slightly. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to calculate this damage because I, I took really shit notes. It's 1d6 per 10 feet fallen. Of bludgeoning. Okay, so you hear the goblin goes, crashes into the ground. Uh, you catch Jeb. Jeb, you take two damage. Uh, the My goblin hero. lays flat before you. Oh, sorry, Jeb. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I moved somebody by accident. I didn't mean to. The goblin lays flat before you, barely breathing, like surprised as, as hell. I like to jump off <laughs> onto his face. Yeah, you kill him. Easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to kill someone by giving him the elbow. That's great. The people's elbow. Yeah, like... the, yeah just the people's elbow <laughs> right off of Vladia's shoulders, dude. Or Vladia. To... Awesome. <laughs> okay. Just... That goblin in front of you, what do you guys do now? Pull him out of that tunnel in case we wanted to go up it again. Okay, so that was remarkably effective. Um, okay, so here's the thing. There is treasure up there, but there's also something else. I don't know what it is. It's like one of the thing, one big thing, big big person. Um, I don't know if we if we can all get through this like little hole, but uh, no, that's the way to go forward. I'm pretty sure. You also did hear a lot of chattering. And a lot of chattering. There's a lot more goblins here. Well, they're going to know we got pulled down that. And they're gonna be waiting no, for it's like Assassin's Creed. It's a stealth kill. 
<laughs> you want to go back up? I don't think I can grab another one, but sure, if you want me to. <laughs> well, they'll pick them up, ready to throw them again. Okay. You guys know oh, the drill. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, Jack again. will drag the corpse of the goblin kind of out of the way. Okay. Same exact thing as last time. You get thrown up another... You know, I'll climb. 20. It's a 13. You make it to the top once more. Fantastic. Uh, doesn't actually appear that anybody's noticed yet that the goblin went mid. <gasps> Perfect. There Assassin's is, Creed. There's a stalagmite <laughs> at the top that is where the goblin was before. So if you wanted to climb up, you might be able to hide behind that. Careful. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Stealth. A stealth check. Guidance. 19. Don't need it. Ooh, don't even need it. Yeah, you, quick, you climb to the top and you kind of commando crawl your way behind the stalagmite. Stalagmite, yeah. Yep, because you might step on it. I will tell Sticky to climb up the mite onto the ceiling. Uh, and stay safe, and I will peek my head around to see what the big thing is. Uh, as you peek your head around, you see a big, furry, goblinoid creature. I'm going to see if I can pull up a picture for you. I have a picture of this. I don't know if I, if I share this to you guys, you guys might get more information or not. I'm not sure, but it's it's a big furry goblinoid looking thing, um, much taller than a normal goblin. Uh, as you look around the corner, though, you also see there are like four or five goblins in here, and another big wolf. This one's bigger than the other two, the other three. It's a werewolf goblin! Holy shit! Alright, I'll uh, pop my head through the hole again, and I will say to the group, Okay, there's four goblins, and a werewolf. He's on about the werewolf. <laughs> I'm looking at the folly dude, like, what? <laughs> so you just crawled and stuck your head down the chimney thing and started just saying my this? Head. Just my head, and I'm talking quietly. I'm, I'm gonna roll some perception checks because that's a little. Good mate. Okay. For some reason these goblins still don't hear you. Maybe it's the sounds of the waterfall, the the fire flickering, but. Uh, they don't seem to hear you. Fantastic. Four of them and a werewolf. What do we do? You think it's actually a werewolf this time, or is it just another wolf? No, it's it's a werewolf. I guess we've got to go up there after him. Come on, then. I'll pop my head back out and go back to the stalagmite. I should probably be last, because I'm the biggest, and what will give us away the easiest. And I can catch anybody if they don't make it up. I'll go ahead and go up there. Okay. See if I can fit through this thing. Yeah, roll me uh roll me three That's athletics check. Jeez. Okay, let's do it. First You'll one. Be fine. Plus twenty one. Holy shit. Second one. Twenty five. Third one. Jesus. 25. Zorag, like, <laughs> he barely fits in here. He's like, urgh, urgh, but he's he gets through with no problems. He probably couldn't have even fallen if he want, like, if he let go because he just so tight in there. What? Just uh, belly crawling up the shaft. But yeah, he just wiggles his way up to the top uh, and I guess lifts himself out. Are you trying to be sneaky at the top? Yes. There, as you guys can see now, there is... Uh, the two of you can see this this uh, little alcove that might be a good hiding spot, which is actually where Jeb already is. Um, this is the weirdest birthing I've ever seen, <laughs> ever. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure. So Jeb, your token would probably be the. You'd probably be like tucked away back here. Great. Love it. All right. <clears throat> and as far as me, yeah, I am trying to be stealthy. Okay, you want to climb up this thing? Check as well. All right, let's see what happens. Cause uh, that's a four. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, no. <laughs> so, Zorag, as you climb, uh, this it's a lot lower ceiling right here at the entrance than you think. And you hit your head and you let out a. <laughs> Just rubbing my head. The uh, the crowd of let's see, actually, you know what? I'll roll. There's there's a chance. There'll be, there's a chance that they don't hear you. Let's just see. That once, baby. Let's see what happens. Okay. The That's very own character. Um, <laughs> you just watch as all the goblins before you. Turn their head like real slowly and look at you. Ah! And uh, uh -oh. all draw their their blades. Oh. Go ahead, roll initiative. Oh no! Uh, wow. Don't forget to click your character tokens. Oh, I almost didn't do that. Oops, wrong. Oh wait, no, I'm still clicked on my character, so I'll wait till you get the turn order the, up. Yeah, let me clear this. All right. Oh, I can read it updated. You. Eight, baby. Cool. Just put in 14. another roll of Ali and I'll add it. I'll fix it. I guess I would be right here, huh? Why can't I go over there? Uh, I think oh, you were stuck on the You might have been bumping the wall. Even the game thinks I'm too big to fit through it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the walls are really finicky on this. Okay. Oh, sorry, I gotta roll the goblins in it. Uh, change me to a nine. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. <laughs> this is not nine. good. Yeah. <laughs> if we get hit. They still I... don't see Jeb though, do they? Uh, not at the moment. Since he's I behind guess. the okay. Since he's still behind the slagmite. So, oh my god, guys. Oh. <laughs> TP. I can take it. Better hope so. I can take it. Who has the higher decks, Zorag or Jeb? I'm plus two. I have no idea. I'm uh, I'm just two. <laughs> You're two as well. Hey, you guys can decide. Do you have who goes a first. fourteen or a fifteen? I have a fifteen decks. Oh, you have a fifteen decks? That's yeah. like oh, oh, oh yeah. You're talking about that. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, I've got a fifteen decks also. All right, you guys just choose who wants to go first. <clears throat> you can go first, why not? All right. Just put me ahead in the initiative. No. Uh, so you watch as the big furry looking goblin turns to you and Who dares enter Clark's domain? Um, and he's going to run at you. Clock? And he's going to try and kick you back down the chimney. I'm just going to get stuck in this damn hole. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> going to roll an athletics to see. And then you can... Valiant will just see, like, your naked ass pop through and you'll get stuck like this. I don't actually <laughs> know if this is something I can legally do, but I think it's cool. And you Just do it, man. Shit like this. Yeah. Do it. Let's okay. do it. Okay, cool. If you'll let us so, do stuff like this, you can yeah, do it. Yeah, absolutely. Too. <clears throat> Only okay. the players get an advantage. What are you talking about? 
Roll a, uh... <laughs> how do you want to stop yourself from falling down this hole? Just grab onto something? Yeah, I want to, like, put my... I want to brace my arm back uh, against the wall that's behind me. Okay, roll me a dex saving throw to see if you're able to quickly... All right, this is about Hold to be on. a terrible roll so here. Is it? There it goes. It Come on, baby, right. 16! Okay. Well, it's a double 16. You... Yeah, but it's not a double crit. Yeah, it's not a double crit or a double crit fail. You begin to Bummer. fall doosh, 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 down the uh, down the shaft. Uh, <laughs> you don't fall all the way. You actually do get stuck, so you only take three damage. But now you are blocking. Uh, it's bludgeoning everyone else. <laughs> yeah, you are now blocking the shaft. Um, all right. He then turns his head. Ugh. What are you doing, little man? Oh no! He sees Jeb. <laughs> uh, goblins. Turn. Oh, what about you? So the goblins are all. There's not that much space. So this goblin's gonna run over here. Um, look down the shaft and go to shoot a short bow at Zorag for an eleven. Doesn't hit. I don't think. Nope. Does not. So hit. he just. It actually just hits the ledge right before the. Uh, the shaft bounces back up. Uh, so nothing there. This goblin is going to... I think it can make an, that shot. So he's going to just have his sword at the ready for waiting for people to um, start coming up. And then actually he's going to pull out his bow. He'll come further back and he's just going to wait until one of you comes up and he'll, he'll fire his arrow if you do. Um... This guy's gonna come over here and block this entrance. And this guy's gonna do the same. Because there's no space over here. <laughs> okay. Next up is Jack. Jack, what do you wanna do? Uh Jack is gonna go Oh man, it's it's a blocked. Uh to Valiada. Like Uh right it door. appears though, yes. Alright. I'm, I'm going to run to the entrance, and I'm going to try to create a ruckus, and hopefully... Uh, maybe there's a way around, so she is going to run two, three, four, to the entrance over here, and just scream bloody murder down into further into the cave to try to cause a ruckus, going, Hey! Get over here! <laughs> okay. Just screaming at the top of her lungs to see if they can, if she can get a reaction. Okay. That's that's her turn. Copy that. Doggo's turn. Uh, this big, fierce-looking wolf is going to run up beside or behind his master. Um, and like through the little like. Between the stalagmite and the wall, his jaws are going to come through snapping at Jeb. Fair enough. So... Um... 11? Does it hit? Does not hit. Okay. Cool. Alright, you're good. Valiada. Uh, she'll look up the chimney and just go, What in the name of the mountains are you doing up there? I appear to be stuck! <sighs> she'll look around for a second and then start climbing. And essentially she'll climb up to where he is and brace so he has given him a, hopefully a, given him an advantage to climb back up. What were you doing hoping you'd get advantage? So I'm going to climb up to where he is and then like brace myself so he has okay. more of so a way to get back up. You can move up 10 feet because you're moving up so it's or I guess you can go 15 technically but roll me an athletics check. Make sure you're able to make a climb. Uh, you get like 5 feet up, you fall or whatever. You take 1 damage because you didn't get anywhere. 1 bludgeoning damage on the fall back down. You need to move out of the way. I can't get up there and help. And that'll be her turn. Zorag. 
That's I'm gonna good. try and get back up to this entrance here. Okay. So let's see. That's athletics. Um. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's Twenty-five. How far did I say you fell down? Like ten feet or something? Yeah, you climb back up to the top. Lift yourself up. What Zorag want to do now? I guess you've used wanna... your action to climb. Yeah. So you have your bonus action left, free action, movement. No, actually, you don't have. Yeah, any I just. Oh, I don't have any you more have movement. Five feet. Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Yeah, I just want to step out of the way of this entrance. <clears throat> All right, I'm just stepping here. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Are you gonna rage? Uh, yeah. You know what? Yes, I am gonna rage. Cool. All right. <clears throat> awesome. Dora goes into a fierce rage. Jeb, it is now your turn. Remember, Clark okay. has just looked at you, and a wolf has tried to bite your face off. I will start backing up behind Zorak, five feet, and I'll just be like, Oh, man, just the health inspector's coming to check out your property. Ice knife. And I'm going to cast ice knife on the wolf. Okay. Uh, as you attempt to back off, the wolf gets another bite at you. I expected that. And Clark, actually. Uh, 13. Misses. Awesome. You also do have uh, partial cover anyway, so I think you get a plus two. Oh, great. Uh, Clark is also going to try and take an attack on you. Sure. His morning star. 16. With the plus two, doesn't hit. Awesome. Cool. So the uh, the jaws, he gets stuck in the uh, the the little thing, and Clark's uh, Morningstar actually gets stuck, like, it hits the uh, the stalagmite and wraps around a little bit, and he actually Great. breaks off the top and he pulls it back. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Go ahead with your ice knife. Ice knife. So, that's a ranged spell attack against the wolf. I don't know what, how to, there's no button for that, so it's weird. Uh, um... So, yeah, it's just it's a D I'll fix twenty plus D twenty plus five, right? Yeah, if that's your spell, um, spell attack bonus. Yeah. Okay, so thirteen. Huh? Because oh, you, you didn't get the, the modifier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So thirteen. So that was at the uh, the pooch. At the wolf. Yeah, you hit. So he takes 1d10 damage. Go ahead, roll it. Six. So he takes 6 damage. And then everyone else in 5 feet, which is... the tar So it's the wolf, the, the clark, and these two goblins all take 2d6 cold. 6 cold. Oh, shit. Okay, go ahead, roll. 10. Okay, they all take 10? Yes. So Clark and then the two goblins to the Yeah, so Clark, the two this goblin, the top goblin here, and the wolf itself all take ten points of cold damage. The wolf takes an additional ten? Yeah. Okay, Don't cool. they have to so... do a deck save? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Okay. Thank you. Oh you're right, I'm sorry. That'd be broken. Teacher, we had homework. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The, the save DC is 13. So let's see. What'd you say it was? 13. Clark saves... Uh, Shit! Wolf fails. Uh, goblin up top fails. And then this guy? The, yeah, the this bottom goblin. one. Uh, succeeds. Okay, so the pooch uh, gets struck by these uh, ice shards, and it freezes the chest where it hit. And this uh, this this wolf uh, actually immediately dies from that as the uh, ice spreads across the ground around and going up into the goblin by the entrance. That goblin also dies 
Ooh. They take half as much on a save, or do they not take any? They just they don't take uh, anything. Right. No, it's nothing if they save. So it's uh, Clark's turn, and uh, Clark does not look happy that you killed his his beloved wolf. So he's Toy. going to take a swing at. Uh, well, I guess he can only really get Zorag. He's going to try to hit Zorag here. <clears throat> Morning Star. Oh, it's a morning. Yes. Twenty. So that's that sixteen piercing thing. damage. However, you're raging, so it's half. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this guy is not someone to be messed with. So we're messing. Oh. Okay, so up next, the goblins. Um, this goblin here to the left of Clark is going to run up and try to hit Zorag as well with the star. 18 for 5. Again, rounded down. Uh, you would so take 2, two damage. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Zorag is looking very hurt, guys. Fuck. Shit. Jack's turn. Jack, it All seems right. that nothing is coming. Absolutely nothing. Correct. All right. Hesitating, Jack runs back towards the tunnel by Valiada, and she's going to take out her long bow to tell Valiada to duck, load, and fire, hoping to hit someone. Okay. Like, like, like probably ricochet it through up through the tunnel to hopefully hit or distract someone um, on the other end. Okay. Fingers I mean, crossed, not Zorak. Well, roll me an attack with disadvantage. All right. Twelve. Uh, doesn't sound like it made purchase. It's hard to tell from down there, but uh, yeah, your arrow goes up. It ricochets and lands somewhere in the room. Are you doing anything else? Uh, yeah, she's gonna yell up. She's gonna look at Valia and go, "You want to go up, or do you want me to go up?" Um, I mean. I'll, I'm heading up there. So. We need All to right. help them. <laughs> Alright, I will look at the wolf and try to release it. And that'll be my turn. The uh, wolf that's down there with you, you're going to try and release it? Yep. Okay, um... I'll say easy enough to do, yeah. The wool, you just, uh, it was stuck, so there was like an iron rod embedded into a stalagmite with a chain on it. All you did was you yanked out the iron rod, um, and the wolf, I mean, still has the chain attached to it, but it's not, uh, unless you want to try and actually unhook it from its collar, I guess. Is that what you'd prefer to do? Yeah. Okay. Roll me try an to animal handling. It from all right. Okay, yeah. 14. You, there's like this iron chain wrapped around its around its neck like a makeshift collar. Slip it off and the wolf uh wolf will go at that point. <laughs> Shoo! Get. Okay, so the wolf actually is going to go next. Um and it's it runs off. Go ahead and volley a duck. Your turn. Can I see that goblin at the edge? Uh, you can probably see. So if you look up, uh, you know how the fire was flickering and you could see some orange? You probably now can't see the orange very much and you see like a shadow on the wall. So you can tell something's up there, but you okay. can't see it. 
Okay, then I'll attempt to climb again. Okay, go for it. 18. 18. Yeah, with that, you climb uh, 10 feet up. We'll say 15 for combat. Right. Whatever. <laughs> Just make I'm it easy. Oh, three feet taller Adrenaline. than me. Adrenaline. Uh, another 18. Oh, uh, you can. Oh, I don't get to do more than one. Never mind. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot about actions and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm part way up there. <laughs> okay, you're halfway up. Zorag, unless you want to do anything on your bonus action. I don't have bonus actions gotcha. currently. Zorag. I am coming down with my great axe on the top of this goblin's head. Small gobby. The small gobby gob. Okay. Don't film me now. 16. Yeah, you do. Uh, describe you crushing this goblin or whatever. I'm um, just going straight down on it. Like, to me, it's like I'm I'm just trying to kill everything as quickly as possible. So I go straight down like I do the other ones, just bisecting him. Yep. And, uh, yeah, this, this time your <clears throat> axe cleaves into its shoulder and comes down pretty good, like, mid-chest. It's, uh, ugh, it's not a good sight. That goblin is dead, dealt with. And I uh, he didn't turn to damage. Jeb, and I'm he like, one HP. <laughs> that, that must have been the one I threw the spear at. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm turning to Jeb before I end my uh, action. I'm like, heal me! And then <laughs> I'm just turning back towards the big furry bastard. He's got a glorious looking beard. Hmm. Yeah, I will, uh, after saying that, I'll say, I don't have any more spells left! And I will just cast Create Bonfire on the big one, the werewolf. Okay. So, it's a deck save for him. Let's see. Ah, uh, he fails. Okay. So the Six fire, fire damage. begins to erupt underneath this, this bugbear. Uh... Iron. Cool. Yeah, he's still up, but he's his feet are all crispy now. <laughs> yeah, so the fire is still there. I just, let me double check the spell real quick. Fire is right here. Must also make the saving throw when it moves into the bonfire space. Okay, so... Yeah, as when it moves in or ends its turn there, it makes a save again, so it's fine. Okay. Now. Okay, on its turn, it's going to uh, see that uh, Zorag is looking fairly weak and try to finish Zorag off again with its morning. I did not. Mean. Again with its morning star. 14? He just hit me. Ugh. And, uh,. <clears throat> Like, my AC is a 14. Yeah, the Morning Star comes across yeah. and smacks Zorak on the side of the face. And uh, Zorak collapses against the side of the cavern wall. Shit! Falls unconscious. Fuck. You have... Oh, you're half... Are You're half orc, right? Yes. Do you have... Uh, oh, yeah. I do I believe. I, I do believe. I, yep. So, uh... I'm not killed, and I'm he's staying alive. at one HP. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So like, he smacks against the wall. He looks like he's gonna go down, Jeb, but like, he just burns his teeth and just barely, you know, you see him like try to. He starts to get up. Um, somehow, this man should be down and out. He's just you continuing the power so through. You are so scary. <laughs> Clark is not too happy about this. Just look at Clark. That yeah, really. Let's see if he gets. He does not. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, up next is the goblins. Does he have to make a oh, save he ends for his turn? Oh, square? he's he's gonna he's gonna move. Sorry. Can I make uh, an attack of opportunity on him? No, because he didn't move out. Oh, of he moved. He yeah, he didn't yeah. move. He just jumped over that stalagmite. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, goblin. Oh, Jeb, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. This goblin's gonna move not into the fire because that'd be dumb. And move down here and then where this other one was. So he goes around the fire. Boom. Over here. And he's going to swing at 
Dorak, because unfortunately he can't get to Jeb. <laughs> sorry, mate. 14. <laughs> oh, wait, no, sorry. That, a 22. Okay, yeah. 8 slash. Oh, eight. yeah. He, yeah, I'm down, baby. Okay, this no. time, Zorak goes down. Um, this goblin is going to try to move into a better angle and shoot an arrow at Jeb. Oh, my. Uh, he rolled a crit. TPK. Oh, TPK. Yeah, that uh, that's 13 damage. I'm out. This uh, is going well. <laughs> Maybe we'll get up there someday. Shit. Go ahead, Shaq. Your turn. Uh. Jack is going to try to climb up in the tunnel and just give Valia the push. It's like, hurry! <laughs> so that's uh, athletics? Uh, yeah, you're giving uh, Valia the push? Yes. Okay. Athletics, yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. What? One. Unfortunately, Valia is just really heavy and also kind of squished like, in there, like... You know? You're heavy! Oh, God. This is hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, Valida. Unless Jack has a... Attempt to climb the rest of the way. Go for it. Nope, I'm, I'm not gonna poke her. <laughs> 25. You climb up. Uh, there that's is my a... action, I assume. Yeah, unfortunately. Keep things fair. That's what I did with Zorag. Yeah. Yep. Um, there is a goblin at the tippity top right now. Um, so you can't stand up yet, but you're hanging on to the edge. Last next turn, it'll be a free action. Stand all the way up in there. It's not cost you anything. Okay. But you can't get all the way up yet because there's a goblin right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Zorag, roll me a death death saving. Which, if you need, oh, you figured. Dude, oh there's, yeah, baby! There's one <laughs> failure. Oh boy, howdy. Jeb, roll me a death saving throw. My turn. Three. Three. Okay. Larg, uh, he laughs. Um, and he's gonna move over this way, back toward his fire. Thinking he's dealt with the situation at hand. That's what you get for coming into my cave. Clogs cave. Goblin. It's a goblin note climbing up. Uh go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Molly it Stealth. Twelve. Yeah. The goblin sees you and tries to kick your your hands uh step on your hands go ahead strength because i'm trying to hold on yeah yeah roll me a strength Woo. strength saving throw oh saving throw that'll work too i mean yeah it was the same it's the same modifier yeah, so roll. 15. yeah yeah you hold on tight that's Holy that goblin's crap. turn okay now it's jack's turn Uh, Jack is at the bottom of the vent there, and she's just pacing, wondering what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. What to do. She checks her compass, she looks at her weapons, and then she tries to, uh, she tries again to go out to the cave, and she's gonna yell into the cave further in hopefully loud enough going get reinforcements so to try to deceive them you're gonna try and deceive them okay are you trying to put on yeah. like a goblin voice or anything like uh yeah trying to put on the goblin voice like oh, i'm trying to big get okay. reinforcements roll me a deception check Fifteen. 
16. Okay, cool. That's not bad. That's where I chime. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Valida. Uh, free action to climb up, and I'm swinging at this goblin. Yeah. 17. Awesome. Roll that damage. Kill this 11? thing, dude. Yes, you absolutely <laughs> clobber this thing. And can I size up the bugbear? Absolutely. Um, he looks like he's putting on a show for his people. He looks like he took a good amount of damage, but he could definitely still rumble. Um, mm. It's pretty bulky for a bugbear. Probably takes pride oh. in his physique. <laughs> Seen Zorag and Jeb on the ground. Uh, they'll just be a quick... The veins in her eyes will pulse for a second, and then that's my turn. Okay. Zorag, roll me another death saving throw. Watch this. Uh, Five, baby! Let me not... hit this other red Wait. dot here. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Jeb. Okay, that's one Eleven. make for Jeb. One make for Jeb. <laughs> yeah. Clark turns. So another pipsqueak. Oh. You must much larger than the rest. Uh. <laughs> Another pipsqueak comes into Clog's home. And, uh... He charges at you, yelling. And he's gonna come in with his Morningstar. 14? Misses. Awesome. He goes to yeah. come down on you. You lift up with your shield as it, you know, ex extends. Boom, mm -hmm. blocking his, uh, his Morningstar below. Goblins react. They go... Oh. And uh, this one had its bow out before, so it's going to go ahead and 21, so that hits for five. Yep. Ouch. Uh, actually, that's only a goblin that left. So now Jack's turn. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to Stone's Endurance. Okay. What's that do? So let me put it in the chat so people can see. I get to roll a d12, add my constitution modifier, and reduce the damage by that total. Ooh. Awesome. That shit's lit. And my con is a one. So I reduce all of it. Nice. Okay, so the um the arrow uh how do you want how do you want to do this? Do you want it to like hit you but you're just you know like you have so like much arrow, adrenaline that you So the arrow comes in, it goes through the armor but hits her skin, which is goliath base so it just hardens and it just bounces off her skin instead awesome. of the armor awesome okay and she'll yeah. just scare him down <laughs> a jack's turn i believe yeah yes up <laughs> okay uh jack is going to uh, let's see. Right. Jatsy is going to pull out her compass and look at it again. And then, uh, scream out again, if, and hoping what she thinks is a goblin accent of, Bring force Okay. Before... <laughs> And then listening. See if there's a reply. Uh. Don't hear a reply. That doesn't necessarily mean nothing's happening. Put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you going to do anything uh, else? That's that we won't count that as your action. Yeah, you're just yelling. Uh, I don't want Zorak to die. Take it. Jack, it's gonna 
run back over to the vent again and try to climb it. Okay, do it. Athletics. Uh, really bad at that. Four! <laughs> yeah, you don't make it anywhere. Um, uh, God. You suffer one bludgeoning bloody damage. Help. <laughs> As she lands on her derriere. Yeah, you kind of roll your ankle a little bit. Two on the floor. Okay, volley <laughs> Uh, she'll kind of smirk at the goblin that shot at her while her eyes start to pulsate more and swing her flail at uh, Clark. Okay. That's a nat 20. Do it. Damage. Hiya. That's 17 bludgeoning. How do you want to kill Ooh. Clark? I just want to bring the... Like, as I'm swinging the flail, I hit the bund extended and just crack him across the jaw. Okay, yeah, his jaw shatters. Blood coughs out of his mouth one last time. Falls limp onto the floor. Uh, and she'll just step over him as she walks right into this goblin's face. Okay, the goblin looks scared of you now. <laughs> uh, fuck. I... Okay, Zorag. Come on! I'm gonna pray real quick here. Yeah. Oh, spirits of the mountain, be with it, Ore. Ten her up, ten her up. I'm gonna go ahead and call. It's gonna be a seven. Don't do it. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh my god. That's a save. That's a save. Zora oh, lives. Oh. Okay. He's alive. Another round. Woo. <laughs> Jeb. Okay, two makes for Jeb. Good. Two makes for me. This final goblin is going to. Uh, nimble escape and uh, begin to run this way. I think it's bonus action dash. Oh. All the way over there. Okay. Uh, the combat would technically be over. Is there anything Jack... Oh, I guess, actually, the stand turn order, just because Zora could die here. I know I just skipped a bit. Uh, it would actually be Jack's turn right now. This is stressful. I'm stressed. Yeah. <laughs> this is very stressful. Uh... Well, Jack is pretty much giving up trying to climb up in there, and she's going to run back to the cave, uh, this part of the cave, just to its entrance with her torch, and just kind of look up and down the passageway, back through the entrance, or further in. Back to the entrance, further in. Okay. Um... And that's her turn. Yeah, you don't see anything extra. Go ahead, Valida. Now, before oops, before you um do anything, I don't know if you have healing left or not. I do not, but I'm gonna try a medicine check after some role play. To, you look to around and keep in mind <laughs> that there are crates in here, crates of stuff marked with a blue lion emblem. <sighs> I take the chance to try to find some. I mean, it's up I've, to you. I've you can either, it. like you said, you can either run up to him, try and make medicine check, search through these, and see if you can find anything of use. Uh, uh, well, first, <clears throat> seeing the goblin run off, excuse me, <clears throat> she'll kind of, she's still getting madder, but then she'll see the goblins run off and the bugbear is down. So, just out of exasperation, she'll slam the head of her flail on the ground and stop over here as her eyes begin to return to normal and medicine check. I think this fire's gone, actually. Yeah, the fire's gone. It's concentration. 18 medicine check. Okay. So you, uh, I think normally need it's a, a 10 medicine, usually. medicine kit or something. Yep, don't you? No, I think that's just to heal somebody. With I it. think medicine check is just stabilize. Okay. So you stabilize uh, I can check Zorak, one save, which I think he already had two, right? No. 
Zorak has one Let save. Let me look up how this I've got up. one and one, baby. <laughs> or I've got two and two now if he does it. I so. think you normally medicine need check a medicine. Medicine stabilize a dying companion or diagnose an illness. Okay. It doesn't, I doesn't mean, you, say you, you need check a... further, but it doesn't say you need a medic. Medicine. Need a medicine. Okay, then we'll say, yeah, you stabilize Zorak. Zorag uh, was looking really close to death, but you managed to stabilize his heart rate, and he's he seems to be breathing a little bit deeper now. Um, yeah. And there, as their eyes again, just the, the veins are retreating. Uh, you're at zero, but you don't have to do death saving throws. Yeah, you're still unconscious, okay, but you don't have to roll death saves. So yeah, the, yeah, like the veins are calming down in her eyes, and they're returning almost. The daughter of the mountains is with you. Okay, and so, that's the turn. Uh, Zorag. I forget if it's a D4 or a D6 that you roll. See how many hours you're out for. It's a D4. Four. Alright, let me roll this D4. Give me a nat 1, baby. Oh, I got a 3. <laughs> for 3 hours. God! <laughs> Unless somebody else does something to wake you up. Um, Jeb? One. Six, okay. two, two fails, two, two saves. Uh, Jack. It is. Oh wait, oh, not yet. Gonna... Sorry. Hold on. Oh. Unfortunately for you, the goblins that were running away from the fight are now coming your direction. Got the goblins went before you. Um. So they're gonna shoot their short bows at you. Eleven? Oh bloody hell. Does an eleven hit? I uh, look at my armor class, right? Yes. Yeah. It misses. Awesome. Okay, so then the other one twenty two, so that's probably gonna hit for six damage. Yeah. Ooh. There's an arrow Ow. comes down arrow from the one the sitting knee. on the bridge. Hits you in the kneecap. You you kind of ah! fall to one knee, but you know stand back up. Now it's your turn. Ah. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> Jack is going to. Where is this thing? How do I draw a line again on this? Like just to uh, up in the top left corner here, <clears throat> where you see those different icons. Click yes. on the one. It's a ruler with a circle in it. Okay. It's just below the magnifying glass, and you can either you can actually highlight that, and it will say snap to center, and underneath you can actually have it hide from others to where only the GM can see your lines. Okay, uh, so if I'm going to be jumping across the river, uh, th does that take up extra extra movement speed or no? Um, I think moving across the river does. It, it's rough terrain, so instead of 5 feet, it's 10 feet across that part. Okay, then I can just make it Yeah, you should be able to make here. it across. Yeah, Jack books it over here to take cover behind the wall and she gets her rapier at the ready to uh, attack whoever comes close to the wall. She's like up against the wall. Out of sight. Okay. So she's at the ready. This is just for so Jack's knowledge too. So you can actually draw your arrow. Let's say you had a specific path you wanted to go. You can actually keep hold, like keep clicking and then right click and you can actually do stuff like this wait so you are readying your action to stab something if it passes or approaches right yes cool okay i'm i'm ready to stab Valida. <laughs> seeing jeb still down so walk forward and lean down to him and may the fires of the forge be with this one and do a medicine check six, six. 
Fail. Yep. <clears throat> you do not stabilize Jeb. It's up to you now, Jeb. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I mean, that's your action. Do you want to do anything with the rest of your turn? Did you want to... Uh, seeing that it didn't work, she would move over here. Okay. And get ready to check him. She can't yet. Where's that thief when you need her? Jeb. I'm good. Woo. Okay. I'm good, baby. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Woo. Roll me a d4. This is the best d4 I've ever rolled in my entire <laughs> life. You're out for four shit. hours. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Jack. Watch as one goblin comes out. He's out of range, but he goes to run out of the cave. The second one begins to run, and he runs past you. If you want, go ahead, take your attack of opportunity. Attack! All right, so I just hit my rapier there? Yeah. Yes. Dab! Do it. 22. Okay, damage. Yeah. Nine. Okay, how do you want to kill this? Dabo. Dab it right through his ear. His ear? As he's going right past. His ear was my rapier coming out the other end of his ear. Absolutely. And uh, as you retract it after doing that, Goblin falls limp and begins flowing out the <laughs> river. <laughs> Bye. Like the dead Goblin just <sighs> down the river. That puts an end Bloody to the uh, turn order. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm that these, was scary. These crates, whenever. Okay, uh, Valida, go ahead and. Pull me. I don't know if we or, need to. Yeah, you don't end have... at all, or. Oh. Uh, I don't know what timing is. We have another twenty-five minutes, right? Um, okay. Yeah, you still got another thirty minutes. It's uh, well, okay, cool. twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that. Check the crates and anything around here. Uh, yes, yeah. so, uh, as you check the crates, the again, there's a blue lion imprinted on most of them. Um, mm -hmm. you open one up, uh, there's, uh, seems to be a bunch of different weapons and armors, um, you know, swords, short swords. Any emblems on them there from is... the forges I made them? There are what? Is there any emblems from like the forges that made them? Just because that's what my character does. <laughs> not, um, not to throw you too big of a curveball. If you, if there's not, whatever. Mm, I don't think there is. Okay. They're kind of, they're kind of basic for the most part. Uh, Nothing go fancy. Go ahead, roll me a. Roll me a d20. A d20. Out of the way, character sheet. Fifteen. Find a healing potion. Of Woo. great. Um, do I want to use this to get rid of some hours? Like, if I use it, would it get rid of hours on somebody? Uh, yeah, if you use it, they come back with that amount of HP, so they'd wake up. I And also, I wasn't over there, so I assume Jeb is still <laughs> clinging. So I will rush over to give him the potion. Okay. Fool me. <laughs> Uh, what's the roll for a healing potion? Or is it just it's a base? one d4 plus... Huh. Yeah, I can... Uh, common is 2d4 plus 2. Okay, yeah, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2, you heal for 8. I will shoot up and I will scream, Check me for bites! <laughs> <laughs> Just laugh to herself. I don't see any. Okay, that's good. But you never know. That hurt. We'll have to keep I'll an eye on you. We'll have to keep an eye on you, make sure you don't turn. Way sticky. <laughs> uh, you look, look up. Museum. Sticky is on the ceiling above you. He's on a oh, stalactite. Well. 
Just Anyways. hold out my hands. Yeah. Live. All is good in the world. <laughs> yeah, Sticky runs back up the stalactite, uh, down the wall, onto you, uh, up your leg, onto your shoulder. I'll give him a little hug, and I'll go and check on Zorag, make sure he's okay. Zorag's he's breathing, he's steady. Uh, he doesn't look great, but... Okay, sure. Did we check everything in, in this room? Is there anything else we could use, maybe? I've only checked a couple crates. We're still missing our thief. Okay, great. Um... I'll go check the rest of the crates, see if there's I anything else in there. Look down the hole to see if, if uh, she's down there, so. Um, Jack, what are you doing? Uh, Jack is going to try to limp up this path, hoping that I'll go, go around. Which one, to the left uh, or to the... Yeah, to the left. Yeah, so she's limping up because she has a freaking arrow to the knee. It hurts you, though. Don't recommend. Yeah, okay. So before you go any further... Uh, she does still have her torch. Yes. I'm right in this area a little bit for you. Um, that you see a very steep cliff here, and it looks... Uh, or it's not super steep, but it, it looks very loose. Like, all the rocks here are loose... Luke's rocks all at the bottom. It looks pretty unstable. You still she's want to gonna, keep climbing? Yeah, she's... Well, she's going to look to see if there's any tracks to see if any goblins have gone up it before. Um... So, okay, yeah, roll me, uh... Perception? Yeah. All right. Six. <laughs> you can't tell if any goblins have gone up this. Also, roll me a intelligence uh, roll. Intelligence check. Intelligence. Intelligence. That's under a saving throw? Or just uh, straight just up intelligence? Just click the word intelligence, yeah. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, this Eight. looks too unstable to climb for you. Maybe if you were lighter. <laughs> but you're pretty right. sure that you would cause like a little... Like a small Fly. landslide and then fall down. All right, she is gonna go back and jump back across the river and look up the path to see if there's any goblin footprints that way. Um, no, just the ones that you saw run past you and out, and the one that you stabbed through the brain. Stabby stab. Uh, how high up is the bridge uh, that's on ropes? Uh, the bridge is about 20 feet above you. However, you can see that uh, dead ahead of you, feel this area. It looks like there's some, st it continues, it's like makeshift stairs almost of stone that go up and kind of head around the corner as if they're going toward where you're. All right, she's going to keep going forward towards that area, get to here and peer around the corner going, Hello? Everyone alive? Uh, unfortunately, the water's still too loud to the point where you guys can't hear that. And the water's getting louder for you, Jack. You're getting close to what sounds like water falling and hitting other water. Boy. Oh, it's just shouting down the hole. Jack, are you down there? What were you Caves doing? not your speed. I was looking through the rest of the crates to see if I can find anything that would be of use in either waking up Zorag or helping the team. Or something to catch fire. <laughs> there are greater things at play here <laughs> now. <laughs> Only a perception Good. check, Jeb. Oh, I'm good at these. Shit! Nine! This looks like more basic... Not too good at these. More basic uh, armor and weapons and stuff. 
Is there Arrows. anything medicinal related? Any like smelling salts or anything that I can find? Uh, no, just weapons and armor. Fuck. Is there any rum? <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to the to the campfire in the middle of the thing, and I'm just gonna make sure that Valiator is looking the other way, and I will lean over to it, and I will say. I need some help. What do I do? Uh, let's see. Roll me a religion check. No. No response. But the fire is really enticing. Wow. <laughs> You're so cool. I'll just not, stare at it for a little bit. Not getting a response while he does walking back to pick up her flail. Okay. And she'll see Jeb and not really pay attention to it. She's like, I don't know where the pirate's gone, but I have a bad feeling. And she'll kind of, she's like, she can't see because she doesn't have a torch, but she's kind of looking this way. Okay, Jack, <laughs> as you enter this room in front of you, this cavern is half filled with two large pools of water uh, with a narrow waterfall high in the eastern wall that feeds into the pool then drains out the western end of the chamber to form a stream that flows out of the cave mouth. Huh. You can so see that's low where the water came from. Yeah, you can see low fieldstone walls that served as dams holding the water back. However, you they you can see that they've been cleared. Um, so instead of them being a dam anymore, water's flowing out of them now. Probably put together that the goblins had built up a, a dam and filled the water up really high and then broke it, and that's what caused the big rushes of water to come down. The sound of the that's waterfall echoes through the cavern, clever. making it difficult to hear. All right, she just slowly makes her way, limping along, not taking the arrow out of her knee out, because, uh, ow, and uh, gets up to the entrance area here and kind of peers up. I'm assuming it's going up over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's like another peers five up. feet up, but it's not. You can see Valiada. It's like, everything all right up there? We've been better. How are you standing? Uh, with an arrow to the knee. Uh, how are our... Uh, by Pyromaniac and Mr. Cleaver. Well, Zorig's resting. Jeb is by the fire, as you could assume. Lovely, lovely. Could I ask for a favor? What's that? Can you take this arrow from my knee? Hmm. I show her the my knee that has an arrow just protruding out of it. <laughs> Let's. Yes, and she'll pick up. <laughs> she'll pick up uh, Jack and bring her over to the fire to work on the arrow. <laughs> Do a medicine check to try and pull this thing out without too much issue. Yeah, go ahead. It's a six. It it's hurts gonna hurt really bad. <laughs> she just yanks it out. No, no uh, finesse to it. Hey, what's that? Just rips it right <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, buddy. Damn it, Jill, just fucker, son of a- Uh, you'll ah! be fine. You'll be fine, Ow. it's just a- Ow. It's just a goblin arrow. Lucky it's not poisoned. Can I check it to see if it's poisoned? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she'll she'll <laughs> say it- Great idea. That's say it for me not knowing. Yeah. <laughs> That's another six. You're not sure if it's poisoned or not. It's hard to tell. A lot of blood and- You know. <laughs> she'll like- kind of look up and then just set the arrow to the side. I'm going to go make sure Zorag is comfortable while you rest. You want to bandage that up yourself? or? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. I pull, I reach into my bag, I pull out a <laughs> bottle of rum and a half full bottle of rum. I take a big swig and drop some on my splash some on my knee to uh, try to sterilize. I go, Argh! Bloody hell! She'll all down walk over to Zorag and take out her bedroll and try and make him as comfortable as he can while he rests. Okay, nice. So I know I'm unconscious, but kind of like RP like I'm talking in my sleep. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. 
So, as you walk up, you just hear, No! But... I'm ready. I don't want you to leave. And then I kind of just grumble back down. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. And then she'll put the bedroll on and go back to the fire. I Am I still, like, enticed by the fire, or can, am I able to go and do other shit? You can do other shit. I will, uh, after seeing her make him really, really comfortable, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to climb on his chest, and I'm going to stare at him for a second. <laughs> and I'm going to smack him across the face as hard as I can. Really? Yep. Jeb, let okay. him rest. No, nope, that's what I'm going to do. I've done it. It's too late. I mean yeah, I'm not going to stop you, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let him rest from where I'm sitting. Uh... So, do I take damage from that? You normally would. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, Jeff's got tiny, tiny gnome hands, so... Yeah. Uh, you know what? Roll me, just for the hell of it, roll me a death save. If you roll a 19 or 20, you'll wake up from that. By the way, about the whole death save things, is that cumulative until I take a long rest? No, no. Or After is the moment I become stabilized, it's all good. cleared? You're cleared. Okay. Let's see yeah. what happens. 11, baby. I'm okay. asleep. You're still asleep. Um. But my magic fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Valida and Jack. You guys do anything in particular? Uh, I am just uh, tearing the fabric of uh, the pants and just wrapping it tightly uh, just above my knee in order to reduce the amount of bleeding and I'm gonna force myself back up and look around the room and go anywhere I haven't checked yet no as you look around the room go ahead and roll me that perception check Perception. I've 14. looked everywhere. Okay. So, you have an eye for things of glitter. Um, there's one thing in this room that doesn't stand out. It doesn't look quite like the rest of the boxes. There's like a beaten uh, treasure chest in the corner of the room. The back top right corner there. Tucked away. Yeah. I will try to open it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's not locked or anything. It was tucked kind of, like, behind another box as if it was a little hidden. But, uh, you open it up, and inside you find... <laughs> you find stuff. A lot of it. Yay, stuff! Okay. You flip open the lid and you find 600 copper pieces. Shit. 110 silver pieces. Shit. Two potions of healing. Ooh. A jade, a jade statue of a frog with golden orbs from. With golden orbs for eyes. All right. I will pocket that all and bring over, pocket one of the potions and bring over one of the po potions of healing. Are and you, uh, Are you trying to be sneaky about the pocketing? Or... I'm sneaky about the pocketing of the jade statue with the, of the frog. Okay. Uh, roll me a sleight of hand check. Was anybody 13. looking at her when she went over there? Or nobody really cared? I mean, I've been probably been just got looking it around. I wasn't looking at her. Oh, no, I was, because I said that we... Yeah, so I guess I would have seen it. Yes. Okay, roll... Just roll a uh, perception. We'll just see if you saw it. I think you were looking that way. Ten. Yeah, no. You don't see her slip this uh, statue into her bag. Fair enough. Yeah, no, we haven't... I've looked everywhere. I haven't found anything. So you can try, but, I mean, it's not... There's nothing around anymore. Oh, well, I did find a couple of healing potions. Ooh. Never mind. I look over at Valiata. So are we... Do we want to just camp here, or do we want to try to 
get the big guy up. I'd hate to waste more time. Who knows what's happened to those two by this point. Alright. Then Jack moves over to Zorag and asks Jeb to force open his mouth. Guidance? <laughs> I got strong jaws, man. (laughs) Use your magic fingers. You guys, yeah, you can give him the potion fairly easily. Go ahead. I'll just hold his nose until he opens his mouth. 2d4 plus 4. While they're doing that, Molly does. Oh. Yeah, you you can roll it. Yeah, you can. So, what you can do is. Yeah, do you know how to do the. Advanced dice. Dice roll on the left? Alright, 2d4 plus 4. Yes. Yep. All right, I think. Got it. Eleven. That right? No. Right. Right. That's Ooh. what you get. And you. Uh, uh, let me do this real up. quick. So when I wake up, I just like jolt upwards from like I'm laying down. So I'm just lean my upper body up, and I'm just screaming, "No! Don't go!" And then I turn around in shock and look at everyone. And then I just Hello. like. I stare at Jack, I'm like, what happened? I don't know, I was stuck in the other cavern, you were up here unconscious, I got an arrow to the knee, and I found a healing potion for you. Why does my face hurt? <laughs> I look at Jeb. I look at Sticky. <laughs> I'm staring at Jeb, and I want to know if he ever took the rope off that's around his, around his waist. <laughs> Ooh. No. No, he hasn't. I'm grabbing the rope and yanking him towards me. <laughs> ah, she's... Yeah, you... Uh, Deb, are you fighting it? No. Yeah, you just <laughs> yank him over. I just, like, get him, like, real close to my face and growl and then just let go. I'm gonna uh, wipe my nose off of from spittle. And, and I'm taking uh... the rope off and putting it back in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Be enough. All right. Uh, while this is happening, Valida is bending down to look at the crushed skull of this bugbear. So it's like picking him up and looking at see if features and stuff on him. Uh, yeah, this bugbear. Uh, pretty. He's pretty big for the normal bugbear. Um. I mean, you definitely could get the sense that he. he Probably the leader of this, at least this group in this age. Um, sharpened teeth, like the rest. Doesn't look familiar to you. That's what you're... Yeah. Well, one less leader to terrorize innocent people. And she'll just slam his body back down against the rocks. And stand I'm gonna up. light him on fire. <laughs> she'll let you. <laughs> begins to uh, burn and it starts to smell like burning flesh in the room and hair which is the gross smell burning hair well if that's not a reason to continue on smells like victory to me alright anyways should walk over and get a red roll well apparently down this other way there's a waterfall and some dam of apparently Looks like the goblins were shoving the rocks aside, making them rushes of water, so. Yeah, no goblins, no water rush. Do you see anywhere they'd be holding people? Didn't, uh, well, there was a bridge area that we crossed under. I didn't cross over it yet, so I might be across from there. Alright, well, let's go that way. She'll put the bedroll back in her pack and move this way, but she can't see you, so she'll stop here. Okay. Uh, you got, I assume you guys are going to cross the bridge and all that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you guys doing sneakily? Or what are, your, are you just going loud and proud? Jack's going loud and proud into the room with her torch. What did you Can't be very stealthy as a 7 foot 2 go- half goliath okay. with armor. So, you guys cross the bridge, continue down, following the, there's a long uh, hallway past the bridge, 
continue to fall down there, you know, walls are moist, dripping with water, and... Uh, said moist. <laughs> Just... Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Good. come on. Thank you. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. No, really, I cannot. I are it... stuck. Is it the walls being finicky because they're so close to each other? Maybe. I don't know. I'll move you guys you all over slam your here. character. <laughs> you just keep slamming your character. <laughs> <eventually. Help. laughs> I think I stopped you from moving me. It's like, I just took an arrow to the knee. I'm slimping, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do this. Oh, wow. I can't even move. Yeah, you're definitely yeah, having to make go back. Together. <clears throat> yeah, roll 20 is really <clears throat> finicky with that stuff. Because technically they're in that square, so it's saying you can't be in that square. Oh god, it's gonna be this whole way. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys get closer, uh, you can tell it opens up even further ahead. I'll just move you guys all. <clears throat> Struggling here. What order would you be in? Uh, follow W behind Jack. Jack's in the lead with the torch. Would okay. either be last or third, depending on where Zorag wants to go. You're going to be third. Yes. I got to keep my eye on you. And as you come <laughs> around the corner with I'm the light, angel. in front of you is uh, another big pack of goblins. Um, and see, as you re enter the room, up on the, uh, up on the top... There, or there's another ledge higher up that's probably like 10 feet up and there's a goblin with a a man that some of you know as Sildar Hallwinter tied up beaten to hell bloody on the ledge as uh, the goblin looks down to you and says uh, hey, hey not another step Or oh, this one gets it. And, Jack uh, holds up her hands and the torch in the one and go like, easy there, mate. And that's where we'll uh, end tonight's session. Woo! Woo! Uh, we almost woo. fucking died! We almost died! <laughs> we yeah, died. and then, you know, some <laughs> fucking two-foot-eight guy slapped me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> anyway... I'm sorry, guys. I do have to bounce out of here really quickly. I've, worries, I've been dude. getting the text messages. All right, man. Best of luck with everything. Okay. Yep. Uh, it should be good. We can we can sign out without you. All right. Well. Uh, it was great playing. Yes. Yeah, Zorag was dude. about to uh, enter the uh, eternal end. <laughs> it was a very close call for Zorag. Uh, if you guys want to go check out Tommy, his uh, his Twitch is Tommy Taco. You can find him there playing some uh, Pathfinder from time to time. Tommy Taco out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tommy Taco had to leave us. Uh, he had some stuff he had to go take care of, but we wanted to thank you all for checking out today's episode of Lost Mind of Fan Delver. Episode 2. Uh, episode 3 will be, again, next Friday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, for everybody, for checking it out. Before we end, let's go ahead and do a sign-off. Go ahead, Equa, shout yourself out. Tell us what you do. Well, I'm, you know, I do d and d stuff sometimes. I don't know, dude. Uh, watch your Morris. That's on Mondays on Morris Twitch. Mondays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard oh, Time every spot. week. DMs. I play Wade. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Baka Zombie. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Zombie Baka. I tweet out it when I stream, and you can see the other places I play D and D. If you follow there, Slime Basher. Right? Slime Basher is the Twitch channel. Yep. yep. Okay, Nissa. Nissa? <laughs> I accept Nisa or Nisa. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have any uh, slogans that you can follow. I am. Uh, I do have an account on Twitch, and I also have an account on Twitter. But unfortunately, I am not active. I am just a viewer. So thank you all so much for watching.
Hey. Well, next week. Peace. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe, join Swindler's Den. <laughs>